a lot of people. Number 13, uh, nutritional supplements. Overrated. Supplements are definitely overrated for sure. Um, everybody thinks they got to have supplements when they're first starting out, which is just not the case. You should be eating a balanced diet. And if you are, then you're getting all the nutrients that you need throughout your diet. But with that being said, nutri- uh, supplements can be very good to help you supplement for extra nutrients that you need in your diet. So if you need an extra protein, it's great to take a su- protein supplement to help you hit that protein goal. But I wouldn't rely on like don't rely on uh, supplements to hit all your nutrient levels that you need. So yeah, supplements are definitely overrated. Number fourteen, low impact workouts. So swimming, rowing, uh, these are workouts that are like easier on the joints. These are definitely over uh, underrated. If you ain't ever swam before, it's hard. I promise. I've been doing it a lot lately. It's tough. Swimming is tough. But the good thing about it is it's not taxing on your body. Like it's not hard on your joints. Like running. Running's kind of hard on your knees, your ankles, your calf muscles. Because you're like pouncing up and down on them the whole time. Swimming, it's not like that. It's pretty pretty easy on the joints. So low impact workouts, I would say underrated. Number 15, resistance bands. So resistance bands are used instead of weights. Um, the farther you stretch them, the harder they get, like the more resistance they have. 